Hi everyone, I'm Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you guys had a really good time or spent your time with friends and family. However you, you know, enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a really good time. See you in the new year. So I thought we'd uh, kick the year off with a love reading, okay, for the Zodiacs. So um, this one's going to be for Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. It will be time stamped in the comments box below. Check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus signs. And remember, it's not going to resonate with everyone. This is a general reading. Okay, so let's see. What do we have for January love reading for my zodiacs of Cancer? Okay, so we have a time of healing. Hmm. So that's nice. Okay, that's good. Um, sorry, get some of these. No time for healing. We've got High Priestess of the Earth. So this is about you getting yourself grounded again, more centered, strong, rebuilding yourself. individuality yes that's it cancer loving yourself being able to express your truth um but also bringing qualities that maybe you've buried deep about yourself and they're just sort of coming out and you're learning to love those um you know attributes that you have and you're just kind of redesigning yourself you know you could also be rebranding yourself if you know you're really passionate about what it is that you do you'll just be making those changes so that you're appreciating yourself more and more, which is really good. So I like that. Um, let's have a look. Cancer. I think as well, you're kind of reestablishing what you actually want. So say like you are kind of single, you, you might be saying, okay, I want different things now. Maybe I want to be in a relationship maybe I do kind of want somebody around maybe I don't maybe I want to be single you know whatever this means to you okay I feel as well though cancer there could also be a relationship on its way to you that is almost coming to kind of heal some of these parts of you as well I've got six of swords Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Ooh, okay. Um, Ace of Cups, sorry, Queen of Cups, um, and Ten of um, Swords. Sorry, they're written differently on here. They're like, yeah. Yeah, so you know what? I think it's, it's a case of you guys just kind of letting it all burn. Whatever, you know relationships didn't work out for you last year you know you're just kind of putting those to bed I think you really had to let go of someone and a connection that was really painful to kind of let go of um but I don't know I feel like you're moving forward with optimism but more um practical in your thoughts going forward and the type of people you want to choose um, and I think as well, you're coming into a real creative time as well for yourself. So I think you're going to have lots of different ideas. You might want to change your look, change your hair, change your clothes. Um, you know, you just might want to really just reestablish yourself. Um, and it's just kind of letting go of, you know, because some of you might have even had to have let go of friendships as well. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of see you guys just letting it go, letting it burn and really kind of starting afresh as like who you are, your own identity that is really coming forward. And this is all about healing and loving yourself and pouring back into yourself as well. So well done. All right, so let's take a look at your love life. Cancer.
I'm, you th I just think you're turning your back on anyone or anything that emotionally drained you, abandoned you, made you feel rejected in any kind of way. And really just betting on and relying on yourself. Got Queen of Swords. Oh. Page of Swords. Two of Wands. The Fall. So I think some of you are really wanting this challenge. You're wanting something new, okay, to come into your life. I think a lot of you here have worked extremely hard in your career. I really feel like for the month of January, this really is just about your healing. Okay, taking that leap of faith into something that is beneficial to you, something that you can really achieve in as well. And yeah, just make you feel really good about yourself. Some of you, if you're kind of going over different ideas or you're learning something new and, you know, it's getting a bit frustrating for you, like just keep going. Keep going, okay? Because, yeah, you're coming out of this hangman position and this is it. You know what you want. And I think some of you are really looking for that opportunity for love. Whoa, okay. And then here we go. We've got this tower. Oh. Ten of swords. I just think a lot are going to be two of cups. So there is this connection that is coming in for you. You guys have really been going through a whole different type of transformation, okay, um, which you're going to see externally too unfold in front of you as well. So your environments are going to change, people around, I feel like new people are coming in, this could even just be new friendships. So I think you're really going to immerse yourself in what life has to offer in terms of what other sources can I get love from. And, you know, they really just want you to take a leap of faith in any of those opportunities that bring you joy. But we do have a connection coming towards you. I think maybe for some of you, you could already be seeing somebody, but you kind of been pulling back a little bit and maybe focusing on your career, but sort of denying how you feel about somebody as well. Um, but kind of feeling really stressed out about it. But I also think that there's going to be um, a nice turn of events for you with this person. <clears throat> I do feel like there is someone around you that does see your worth. But you're literally coming out of this transitional phase. Look at that. You've got change, courtship, lovers, <laughs> unexpected income, a gift. I think all of a sudden, Cancer, you're going to see, you know, that you're coming out of a place where you were struggling, you know, maybe in your business or your career. Okay, to a place where, look at that, great fortune, high honor. You got some money coming in. You got sudden wealth here. Okay, things are just dramatically changing for you, and you had to go through this healing process, which is probably really painful for you guys to do as well. Especially when you kind of have to let go of, you know, people from people that kind of mean something to you, but you're realizing that you know what, I just don't feel the same anymore. Is what it is, you know. But you are moving forward. Maybe a lot of you feel like you've kept yourself in a place of agony to satisfy other people or even your friends, your person in that relationship. Yeah, see, we've got some self-care and we've got this transformation. Yeah, and so that's it. They they don't really want you to go into this self-sabotage because you've kind of had your guard up and you didn't really want to kind of let anybody in cancer, you know? So they're saying, like, try and release that a little bit because you do have this Venus love offer coming in and they want you to be open to receive it. Okay, some of you have really learned how to compartmentalize really well, but also that means that sometimes you block off your emotions at the time when you kind of need to feel it in order to kind of express your boundaries. So you hold on to it and then it just kind of eats you alive. So I think, you know, 
you're kind of learning to express your truth and i feel like you will be um So we got some people here that are thinking about you, <clears throat> wanting to make new memories with you. But I think you know that, you know, they're just charming. They want you to enable your boundaries. And you're just going to be focusing more on, you know, your career, things that uplift you. Okay. And you're cutting out anyone that you sort of go around in circles with that are not adding any value to your life whatsoever. You're out of there. <clears throat> You've got compromise and improving your health. So yeah, they just want you to kind of focus on these things this month, all right? And I think with compromise as well, it's like if you need to make changes to things, make some, you know, make small ones and then work your way up from there, okay? Don't feel like you've, you've got to make those major jumps straight away and really just focus on your health this month as well, all right? Pour that love back into your health. What do you need to do? to be more healthy. Ask yourself that question. Okay. <clears throat> the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's see. We've got drive-bys, <laughs> but life is empty without you, and this person still loves you. Even if they've done the worst to you, even if you don't want to talk to them no more, they love you unconditionally. So even if they act like they hate you, they will never hate you, okay? That's just what they need to project, because more than likely, you are done, and you don't want anything to do with them. All right, let's put your bit of guidance, Cancer. We've got honesty. <clears throat> Relationships need trust. Okay, so relationships are based on trust. When trust exists, a relationship is stable. When trust is uncertain, a relationship is unstable. Being honest involves not lying, not covering up the truth and not misdirecting from the truth. Relationships that are based on openness and transparency rather than on secrecy, are likely to succeed and are much more fun to be in. When you select this card, it is a reminder from the angelic realm of the value of honesty in relationships. Strive to be honest with yourself, to promote feelings of security in your partner. It is reasonable for you to expect your partner to be honest with you too. Both When both partners are open in this way, the trust that exists between them is strong. Okay, so just think about the grounds that you know, you're starting relationships on as well in terms of like wanting to have longevity with them, think about how you kind of start them, okay? But yes, I hope you enjoyed that reading, Cancer. We are now gonna move on to uh, Pisces, okay? So this is gonna be your love reading for January. Let's take a look. It's not gonna resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs as well. Happy New Year. All right, Pisces, let's see, what do we have? Okay. Uh, we have be bold and make the first move. <laughs> and we have emotions are running high. Okay. Okay. Something's causing you anxiety, this love.
So yes, we do have a choice that you have to make. Um, they do kind of feel like you are more listening to yourself, like to your needs, to your higher self though as well. Um, and it's just kind of about summoning up that strength to make that decision on whether or not you're going to choose this person or not. Um, <laughs> But something is moving, okay? Whether it's this person moving towards you or you're going to be moving towards them. Because they might be feeling like they need to make the first move. And maybe you're anticipating them, you know, their energy within yours. Maybe you're having some dreams about them. We've got Page of Cups. Page of Wands. Oh, right. Okay. So this is page of one. Sorry. This one is messages of fire. Sorry. This deck's a little different. Okay. We've got the emperor and the eight of pentacles. Okay. All right. I think when it comes to this person, you just, you try to take them seriously, but I just think that they are quite childish when it comes to kind of building on something. Some of you, this person could even be older than you, but they just act so much more like immature. Um, a lot of the time it feels like they're kind of there for a good time. So you've had to like withdraw your energy, but this person likes to be in control. Um, yeah, they kind of like to be up front and center and they don't really like to conform. Um, but this person, I feel like they are moving towards you, but they, they, are, they do seem kind of aggressive as well. But mm, I think... It's just taking them a bit of time to come towards you. But I think it's more to do with their pride, their status, the fact that they could probably have anyone they want. I do think this person can show you their sweet side from time to time. Which is what kind of gets you confused. And then you guys are quite passionate about each other when you're with each other. But this person that's showing up as the devil also knows how to manipulate you as well. Yeah, it's almost like this person wants to dictate how they move forward. But you know what? Just be careful because they are going to reach out. They are going to make the first move. They're going to move towards you quite swiftly and then go back into the hangman position and then, you know, the hermit. All right. They just kind of disappear. They go ghost. I think with this person, they just wanted to know that they could, all right? But yeah, death. You know, this might just be the very final ending that you need, like justice, look. And then I feel like there's new love coming in. There's someone else, this Knight of Cups energy is coming towards you. You know, you don't have to learn this lesson again, but you might because you really feel like, you know, this still could be your person. So some of you need to kind of be bold and make the first move to cut this person off to leave, okay? But for others of you, this person is feeling like they need to just bite that bullet and come straight towards you. I also think this person can come across a bit mean because it's almost like because you've shut the door on them, they want to prove that they can come back, even if they don't really want to have like a full-term, a full-blown relationship with you. This person could really be obsessed with designer stuff as well, jewelry, things like that. Like, and I just feel with you guys, it's, you know, it's, what's that saying? All that glitters ain't gold, you know? Just kind of be careful. Because you might be putting an idea together of what your relationship could be like with them, but really and truly, they're not consistent. They don't really have a heart. <laughs> That's cool. They might have a heart, but I don't know. They're not very nice. We've got Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Pisces. 
Yeah, so what I mean here, we've got this mature man. It's like this person should be acting way more mature for their age than they are. They haven't really been taking good care of themselves lately either. But they are getting some type of good news, which makes them kind of come out of the woodworks again. But we do have like an official person. See, there's more options that are coming towards you. And they want you to use maturity and wisdom and think about what is your actual long-term plan? Like, what is your goal? You know, and if it is getting married, having this life, having this person, you know, what do you need to do to get there? It would be to really fully remove this person again. All right. You're getting some message through at work, but it seems like it's a bit concerning, but I think it's putting you in the limelight of things. Okay. Um, it's putting you up front and center. And so you're going to have to rise to that occasion. I think you'll be fine. You could do it. You've got spirit guides assisting you while you're feeling a bit closed off and guarded. Yeah. Ooh, feeling a little vulnerable. Yeah, so even when you're kind of feeling a little bit shaky about moving forward or just being single or whatever it is, you know, there is going to be an opportunity for work that comes towards you. And they just want you to have some courage and make that change to kind of move forward with those things. OK, because you do have success here and there is some fast forward movement. All right. But, you know, going back to this person here, he, they could really drain you. OK, and you won't be at your best for your career, something you love. Something that you're going to be, like, passionate about. Yeah, we've got partying. See, they want you to spend time with friends, live in the moment, having fun. Because any day now, you're going to get these love calls coming through. Okay, so just keep working on your self-worth. Don't indulge too much, okay, in people trying to talk to you if they ain't talking no sense, okay? Oh, Pisces, we've got you ready, but it's not the right time. Okay. So, you know, just know that you are working on yourself, that you are moving forward. But, you know, as well, it's just not the right time to be with this person or be entertaining them. Okay. You're ready to move on with your life. You're ready for bigger and better things. Okay. Let's not throw these complicated, toxic relationships in. Because sometimes subconsciously you could be doing that on purpose to kind of take you away from the things that you should be doing. So you can kind of blame them for not, you know, investing in yourself. We've got at last, I see you in my dreams. Oh, turn the lights off, me on. This person is selfish. We've got separation. Stop trying to control it. They want you to live in the moment. Heartbreak hotel. Okay, this person is thinking about one thing and one thing only. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. Uh, let's pull you some guidance. Pisces. Oh. We have wish. Make a wish. Oh. Hold on. Okay, so we have 
You don't have to wait for a shooting star to appear in the sky in order to make a wish. The angelic realm likes to assist us in our lives and they can encourage us to make a wish at any time. It is not necessary to pre prepare elaborate rituals with expensive paraphernalia to make a wish. All that is required is sincerity of attitude and faith in the angelic realm to help manifest the essence of your wish in the best possible way at the most prosperous time. Evidence suggests that after making your wish, it's best to pass responsibility for the process by which the wish unfolds to a higher power, like the angelic realm, and, and then avoid second guessing how the wish might unfold by letting the angels take care of everything. <clears throat> Sorry. When wishing, seek to make your wishes within the bounds of reason in ways that only positively influence everyone affected in the line with their highest good possible. When you select this card, the angelic realm is encouraging you to make a wish. You can make a wish today, or if you want to think about your wish carefully, allow some time to choose what your wish will cover, and then when you're ready, make your wish. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> get, get on with your manifesting, okay? And if you kind of fell off a little bit, jump back on it. All right, because I think with you guys, spirit has a plan. Okay, Spirit has a plan. All right, so Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is going to be your love reading for January. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't, and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, so let's take a look. Scorpio. We have don't let your pride get in your way. That is a full moon in Leo. And we have have faith in your dreams. Okay. Oh, okay, Scorpio. Don't be scared to back down, apologize, whatever it is. Or maybe this is how this person feels about you because there's an opportunity for love. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes maybe what it is as well is that some of you just kind of want to be freed from this uh relationship but i think in the sense of how it has been like you guys want to reset to this because you do feel like there is an opportunity here for love or someone feels this way about you but it is it's a complicated situation this is what we have so maybe it's like you can't really give in to the feelings you feel about someone because they're not being straight with you or they're in another situation with somebody else. So it's just creating a lot of confusion. No, no, not this step first, sorry. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, love. Five of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords. Page of um, Pentacles. Two of Wands. <clears throat> I think, you know, as much as you want to reach out to this person, I feel like you're not really the one that should be reaching out. I think it is them. Um, for some of you, maybe you feel like you've gone as far as you can with this person, like you've invested as, as much as you kind of can and you kind of sort of are left out in the cold. Um, for some of you, it's like your spiritual awareness about yourself has increased. If not, you're, I would say, well, yeah, that's still the case. But for some of you, you're dealing with someone who maybe says they're spiritual or uses spiritual jargon and stuff like that. I don't know. Or finds a way to be really like laid back and delayed about your feelings. Um, and maybe they, they find your, how you feel about things quite trivial. <clears throat> 
you know. Um, but I just think, yeah, they're just quite calm, laid back, but not quite getting it. And I think maybe you're just kind of getting sort of wrapped up in this and mentally it's just kind of draining you. Um, but yeah, I also, it's hard because I, I think that this person is trying to encourage themselves to do better by you as well. But I just think you're kind of getting to like a standstill point. So there might be some things that you might have to do to fix this connection, let's say, but it's like you might have to be the catalyst to fix some of these issues. Yeah, there's definitely something here that's kind of forcing you to stay in this situation. Okay, maybe it's just that it could be a new relationship. Maybe you're newly married here yeah, with the justice, you know, or you got engaged or it just got really serious in some kind of way. So maybe you're just kind of feeling like obligated almost to this connection. But with this Three of Swords, I think it's just about acknowledging your pain and, you know, suffering and, you know, realizing that maybe this is the most that this person can kind of give. But at the same time, there is love, like this person really does want to apologize and things like that. But, you know, yeah, we've got Hangman. It's just how you're kind of perceiving this now, you know. And I think for a lot of you, there could be someone popping up from your past that kind of, even if you don't want them, they are almost kind of making you feel like wanted or this is how I, my person should make me feel, but they don't make me feel like that. And this person comes back and, okay. So I, or, and for a lot of you, this could also just be like a new spark with somebody that you had no intentions of having this spark with, you know, so just kind of be careful about pride and ego when it comes to your current relationship. If you're not really getting what you want out of it. You even need to find a way to fix it or leave it alone. You know, it's complicated, but things could get a lot more complicated looking at this situation, right? And mentally could kind of take you to other places, even if you are staying faithful. So we've got Capricorn, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wealthy man here. Official person. And we've got a message coming through, unexpected income. So some of you could end up just meeting somebody new by basically going down a different path when it comes to work or new friendships or things like that. Um, you know, this person could also work in property as well. But we've got great fortune. Yeah. So for a lot of you, you could be married to this person already. Okay. But just feeling like really in despair about it. And then this other person pops up and you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got marriage here. It could also be as well for some of you, you feel like you're leaving your person behind. So even if you, let's just say some of you are separated in this situation. It's like during that separation, you guys, you've level up, leveled up and they haven't. Like, so and for instance, if you're in a relationship, it's like you started this year real strong, built yourself up, but your partner is lacking that drive, you know, what you, what you kind of lack in. Because some of you might not want to leave because you feel like, what will people say? You know, things like that. But equally, you're realizing that you can't really kind of control this situation. Autumn was when there was a massive change for you. I feel like there was something that probably happened deep within your higher self. Look at that. Higher self activated ancestor guides coming out next to support this. Yeah, this is like family home commitment. But we do have deception, temptation coming through. Okay. Whether that's with you, your person coming up with you. Okay, just be... Um, 
cautious of that, okay? But we do have this empowerment that is really shining through and coming through your reading here as well. Yeah, we've got separation, stopping the pattern, but we've got dating, getting back out there, wearing a mask, okay? And it's, so this is the thing, and poker face, not showing true hand. This might be something you decide to do, okay? Because maybe you're just starting to feel a little bit fed up. Maybe some of you think, oh, well, my person's doing it, I'll be doing it, okay? Just take it as it resonates to you. Look for a sign, no need to worry. Okay, no need to worry. No need to stress and make the situation worse, okay? It does feel a lot like you are going to be shining your own light out of this. Whatever the decision is that you make or, you know, it feels like you're leading yourself through this. Right, you're your own best friend right now. We've got tell the truth. Life gets better with you. We could be now past life connection. I have a plan. So this is, I think, really and truly someone coming to sneak up to take you. And I think you're not even going to see this person coming or even think that it's them. It could be someone that you, maybe you felt like you always had a crush on, but you could never. Or... <laughs> They're coming for you, girl. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah. There's an old flame. There's an old love. Okay. Coming back for you. All right. Let's read you some guidance. Mm. Reciprocate. Okay, express shared feelings. Okay, let's see. Okay, so whilst it's common for couples who are very close to share what can be best described as telepathic connection by thinking the same things or saying the same things at the same time, it is helpful. Even in such closely bonded relationships, for partners to continue to express affection to each other and to reciprocate expressions of love rather than to assume that love is understood. When love is reciprocated, it doesn't just double, it grows. Um, when we share our hopes, dreams and the feelings they generate in us with our partners in a reciprocal ways, it makes them feel recognized and understood, which in turn encourages further openness and regular expressions of love. When you select this card, the angelic realm is reminding you of the benefits of recipro reciprocity. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when your partner shares their feelings with you, take the opportunity to reciprocate. How many times do I want to put that word in there? When you do this, you won't just double the good feelings. You'll add to the level of love you share, which will deepen your relationship even more. So this is the thing as well. I think for a lot of you, you've got to take this as this resonates, right? If you feel like your love is not being reciprocated, Okay, <laughs> then, you know, that is going to be a big thing for you. That is probably what you're feeling now. It's like maybe you were the giver and then this person was just a taker or not noticing what it is they needed to do for you. Okay, so I think you're understanding the balance and fairness of, you know, somebody putting in the same amount of effort and energy that you're putting in. Okay, and I think someone's kind of coming along to show you what that is. Um, so yeah, it's, look, Scorpio, it could either get real messy, okay? <laughs> um, or it could just be, you know, real, real honest, you know, that actually I, I do want this type of love and I'm going to move on from this or whatever it is, right? Um, yeah, it's kind of deep, kind of deep. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this love reading for January. Uh, if you want to book a personal reading, uh, my link is in, on my profile, yeah. Um, but take care, guys. Love you so much. Happy January. See you soon. Bye.